All right, friends. All right, here we go. All right. Welcome to Mo Morning Devotions and Bible Study. As we gather to devote our day to God, I remind you to mute yourselves when we read in unison. I will ask for a few volunteers to read as we go. Our Zoom gathering today will be recorded and made for others. Yours is the day, O oh God. Yours is the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Let us pray. Gracious creator, we dedicate this day to you. It is a gift from you and we honor all that it may offer us. Productivity, play, connection, fulfillment, solitude, observation, learning, growth, discovery, rest, and refreshment. Draw us closer to you, to one another, and to all your beloved creation. Amen. Saying together while muted, as I begin this new day with you, creator of the universe, awaken my heart to gratitude. Creator of the universe, awaken our hearts to gratitude. Amen. Saying together while muted, as I begin this new day with you, giver of life, allow me to feel excited about the day's possibilities, plans, and purpose. giver of life, give us excitement to begin this new day. This morning we have a song from, a song from the Book of Wisdom. Who would like to read this this morning? I'll read it. Thank you, Jan. Wisdom freed from a nation of oppressors, a holy people and a blameless race. She entered the soul of a servant of the Lord, withstood dread rulers with wonder and wonders and signs. To the saints she gave the reward of their labors and led them by a marvelous way. She was their shelter by day and a blaze of stars by night. She brought them across the Red Sea. She led them through mighty waters, but their enemy, enemies she swallowed in the waves and spewed them out from the depths of the abyss. And then, Lord, the righteous sang hymns to your name and praised with one voice your protecting hand. I lost it. Sorry. For wisdom opened the mouths of the mute and gave speech to the tongues of a newborn people. Thank you, Jan. I need five readers for this next part. Who would like to be reader one? Sure, I will. All right, Betsy will be reader one. Reader two? I will. Okay, Bob Bryant, Susan, Scott, will you be reader three? Yes. Okay, reader four? I will. Molly, thank you, and reader five? Martha. Wonderful, thank you. 
indescribable God, you are about to study what generations of people have passed along to us out of love for you, out of love for us. You are about to explore your ways and how you may call us to think, feel, and act. We seek you in humility, knowing we will not have a perfect understanding for you and your ways, and that only you are the perfection of all that is loving, true, and good. In humility, we study, reflect, and open our hearts to grow in you. Amen. As we study your word, we will encourage each other to grow in relationship with you and to open to your many forms of wisdom that will reach each of us in various ways today. Amen. As we study your word, we will offer gentleness, safety, and confidence to one another. Remove from us any nervousness, sarcasm, bitterness, gossip, and the urge to give unsolicited advice or fix another person. Amen. As we study your word, we will listen to each other with ears, eyes, and heart. Give us grace to allow for quiet and give us wisdom to know when to speak. Amen. As we study your word, we will seek to understand you better and to understand ourselves better. Remove from us the desire to stand in judgment of others and res residue of violence, hatred, shame, or arrogance, and fill us with compassion for ourselves and others, that we may be truly accessible to your Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to read through this selection of Luke three times. I will read it the first time. Once, when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said and show yourself to the priest. And as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and be cured of their diseases, but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. What one question do you have for the text or its author or the characters that are in the story? Why did he tell him to order no one about what had happened? How had the man learned that Jesus could heal him? Why does Jesus sometimes seem to abolish the temple practices, but in this text tells him to go and do what Moses ordered? What did the priest think when he saw this man who had been cured by Jesus? What kind of prayers does Jesus pray? Did he leave crowds unhealed to withdraw um, and pray? Who would like to read this reading a second time? I'll read I can it. read it for you, Hannah. Carolyn, why don't you read it the first time, and then Robert, you can read it a final time. Once, when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched
touched him and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he ordered him to tell no one, go, he said, and show yourself to the priest. And as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases, but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. What word or phrase from the scripture passage would you like to share? Show I yourself to the priest. Stretched out his hand, touched him. I do choose. Be made clean. He bowed with his face to the ground. Withdraw to deserted places and pray. Robert, would you read this a final time? Once, when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one, Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest. And as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now, more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. How does this text connect to your life? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I know, just leave it be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How does this text connect with your life? There are many ways in which we are unclean. A lot of them listed in the prayers we have read yeah. earlier today. And this speaks to me that says, you can make me clean. Jesus can make us clean. Withdraw to deserted places and pray. That encourages me in my morning devotions. I'm hearing the phrase now more than ever. Was that really in there? Hang on. Now more than ever. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that as... Um, in this particular moment, I mean, I know that Luke is talking about then, but in this moment, now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. I think we're in a particular moment, and I feel hopeful that now more than ever, people are open to hearing about mm -hmm. the message of Jesus. People are feeling sick and tired and are longing for a message like this. And I... Go ahead, Susan. He stretched out his hand and touched him. And uh, it just reminds me that with the Holy, the Holy Spirit is the way Jesus is in the world today. And we are the hands that are touching and stretching out our hands and touching. Um, this, is the, through, this is the way Jesus is working through us now. We have to do it. Here. What is an appropriate offering for your cleansing when you are forgiven 
and when your sins are removed, what do you find as an appropriate offering for this cleansing? I think a lot of times when I pray, I know that I don't use the phrase, if you choose, but that's how I feel. I, I, I know that he will do the best for me, what he chooses. It's not my choice. Thank you, everyone, for your thought, for sharing. <laughs> Let us mute ourselves and say together. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I invite your word to fill my soul, my mind, and my body. Holy Spirit, direct my focus for this day. Holy no. Spirit, direct no. our focus this day. No. Amen. Saying together while muted, compassionate healer, guide me moment by moment today in choosing your way of compassion in the midst of the day unfolding, in my thinking, in my speaking, in my actions. In this day before me, I invite you to direct my energy towards those activities and ways of being that are most essential for the work of your kingdom, as I am called to lead and serve within. Compassionate healer, thank you for entrusting these priorities to us. Give us the wisdom, energy, and strength to accomplish all that which is before us today. To your glory, amen. As we part ways and enter into this day fully, we entrust you through the power of prayer, the following concerns in our lives, communities, and the world. What prayers do we have to offer both silently and aloud? For Dave's family, for Mark, for Carol. For Linda, for Maggie, for Sharon and Linda. Sarah and her family. Kathy. For Betty and Jackie and Gabby. <laughs> for Van and his family. For the soul of Hand Betty Cleveland. For Sandy. For Carol and Gary. For our family as we continue to prepare for Kate's move. Let us say together while muted. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infects our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. 
and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and people may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Brady.